Yusef Piłsudski began his career as a socialist. In his youth, however, he was more of a romantic revolutionary. Before he turned 30, he had already a few feats under his belt. A five-year deportation to Siberia, several arrests, and a daring getaway from a prisoner's hospital. He was also a political fighter. At the age of 31, together with his companions, he robbed a Russian post wagon to support the families of imprisoned Polish independence fighters. He also cooperated with Austrians and Germans against the Russian Empire, but he would always fool them, even though he fought for the Central Powers for the first three years of the First World War. Piłsudski was a magnificent military organizer. He was the one to found the secret Polish military organization. Wherever his soldiers set foot, he willfully created the Polish administration under his authority. Even though he failed to successfully trigger an anti-Tsarist uprising in the Russian partition of Poland, he nonetheless established himself as the true leader. In July 1916, his soldiers waged a fierce battle against the Russians near Kostunovka and thereby putting the fleeing Austro-Hungarian army to shame. Piłsudski was the commander of the 1st Brigade of the Polish Legions, which fought alongside Austria. His soldiers had the highest respect for him, and he was their companion. He would join them in trenches when necessary in order to fight the enemy together. Piłsudski resolutely refused to swear an oath of loyalty to Emperor Wilhelm II, and so the Germans locked him up for over a year in the fortress of Magdeburg, which only made him even more of an idol and martyr for the Poles. When the revolution broke out in Germany, Piłsudski was released and he returned to Warsaw, where he took power. The former commander turned out to be an outstanding statesman. Without bloodshed, his soldiers disarmed the Germans, whom Piłsudski then persuaded to voluntarily leave the country. Within a year, parliamentary elections were held, a new administration formed, a new temporary constitution declared, and the Polish army rebuilt. In less than a year, the small Polish army of 8,000 soldiers all of a sudden boasted several hundred thousand men. After 123 years of captivity, an independent Polish state was reborn. And when the Polish-Bolshevik War broke out soon after, the Polish army, with Piłsudski as its commander-in-chief, successfully confronted the Soviets and stopped the Bolshevik march to the west. There is no exaggeration in saying that Piłsudski proved to have saved Europe from a communist invasion in 1920. Lenin wanted to reach the West and launch a universal revolution. The Bolsheviks might even have reached as far west as Paris had it not been for the famed Miracle on the Vistula, one of the most decisive battles of all time. The Polish state of the time also owes its borders to Piłsudski. Thanks to his leadership, the formerly Polish Eastern Territories were incorporated into Poland. When peace came, Piłsudski resigned as the chief of state, and then, just four years later, he staged a coup d'etat. Over the years, he enjoyed a vast popular support, and he made his decisions to reflect public moods in Poland. Until the very end of his life, Piłsudski remained the actual leader of Poland. He was a strong leader, and for a while he even gave his political opponents a hard time. After all, he was above all a soldier. Józef Piłsudski's funeral in 1935 is said to have been the largest manifestation of public support in Poland of all time.